Everything after that has been independent, public, uh, funded by private agencies such as Parent Project Muscular Dystrophy, such as uh, the American Heart Association, and from federal funding such as the National Institutes of Health. If you click on any one of those publications, what you see is the entire abstract, right? And if you see the icon in the upper right uh, of, of this uh, screen, it says free, um, full text PDF file, a, form, a reprint format of this paper. Again, that icon always appears if the research was funded at least in part by federal money. That is, your tax dollars also supported in some part this study on the effect of protandum on Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Because your tax dollars paid for it, you're entitled to download the full text research in a, in a PDF file. And all six of the papers shown here have those uh, downloadable PDF files available. If you go back to the initial screen and you type in, let's say, oxidative stress, you would find 81,000 hits. All right, that's a lot of research on oxidative stress. Protandum is aimed at reducing oxidative stress, but you can search more focused on the term protandum or more broadly on the term oxidative stress. If you type in oxidative stress and any medical condition that you comes to your mind, you'll get, again, a number of hits. If you turn, in this case, oxidative stress and dialysis, which is a procedure that people undergo when they're in kidney failure, you find uh, an amazing 1,113 publications on oxidative stress and dialysis. You can focus even more tightly, if you want to, by searching a topic with NERF2. Again, protandum, and I'll, for newcomers in the audience, I'll explain what NERF2 is and what protandum does to it in just a moment. But here, if you do a search of cancer and NERF2, that is, what do NERF2 activating agents do to cancer in various studies? 475 papers already, and this is rapidly expanding. 